All right, well, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for taking time today to learn about the fourth generation of the CITOF system, the CITOF XT. My name is Andrew Draghi, and I'm a Greater New York, Connecticut field application scientist. I last attended Metroflow back in 2018, and I'm excited to be back, uh, although in a different role. Um, I would like to thank Metroflow for this opportunity to talk about the most advanced, affordable, and user-friendly CITOF system that um, we have to date, um, the CITOF XT. <clears throat> to better understand the complex immune response, such as that with SARS CoV 2 infections, one requires a system that's capable of deep granularity. Um, this is often best achieved via multiple, sometimes harsh workflows, such as intranuclear or phosphostaining. One technology has been able to achieve easy panel builds, high performance with harsh workflows, and the ability to barcode while still attaining high parameter phenotypic and functional readouts. That's cytometry by time of flight or CITOF. The CITOF has evolved since it was first introduced over 10 years ago. Um, and with that, I'd like to share with you the fourth generation CITOF XT. <clears throat> CITOF XT, uh, mass cytometer. Um, it's an uncomplicated system. Here I have a little cartoon or a schematic that represents what a cell would do when it would pass through our system. Um, starting on the left-hand side, on the tube on the left, we have isotope-tagged antibodies and a cell suspension. That suspension is introduced into the CYTOF system via nebulizer, which aerosolizes the cell suspension. The aerosol then makes its way to the ICP, or the inductively coupled plasma torch. Here, the isotopes are ionized into ion clouds. Those ion clouds then make their way to the time of flight chamber or the TOF chamber. Ions impact the detector are uh, separated by their mass. Um, we have a one Dalton resolution in our, in our detector. Um, ions, ions are converted to FCS 3.0 files. The CITOF XT mass cytometer uses well-established technology of inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry while handling sample preparation, sample introduction, and data output in a manner quite similar to that of uh, fluorescent flow cytometry. <clears throat> First, the CYTOF XT is a single detector system with a direct path from cell ionization to signal detection. There is only one daily QC called tuning, and this is needed for system calibration and optimization. There are no assay or metal specific um, adjustments that are required. There is no compensation controls or a single stain um, isotope controls uh, for operation of the system. Um, and more importantly, um, as we all know, autofluorescence is something we all work with in cytometry, but in mass cytometry, there is no impact of autofluorescence on single sensitivity. Mass cytometry has nothing analogous to autofluorescence since metal isotope tags that are used do not occur naturally in biological systems. In this slide, you see the emission spectra for violet laser excited dyes. It's a 20 color flow cytometry panel. Um, and this illustrates that there is significant overlap between emission spectra of the fluorescent tags. This overlap reduces overall sensitivity in the channels in which it occurs. Um, to resolve this or to deal with this uh, requires multiple single stain control tubes to uh, set up your compensation panel. Um, this makes it difficult to use over 25 fluorophores routinely. Um, and if you do any changes to your panel um, in the midst of uh, you know, an experiment or let's say um, you know, a protocol, you know, it's going to require more iterations to validate that panel to deal with the spillovers. Fluorescent cytometry signals are impacted by autofluorescence even when autofluorescence is subtracted. Um, this leads to a reduction in overall signal uh, sensitivity. It can also make the detection and um, appreciation for co-expression um, difficult to parse out. In addition, compensation and spectral unmixing is affected by instrument configuration and settings as well as the use of appropriate controls. The CYTOF XT has 135 truly distinct channels for signal detection, which makes building a high parameter panel quite easy compared with that of flow cytometry. 
Um, and again, there are no assay specific optimization or compensation controls uh, needed. The use of mass cytometry in clinical and translational research studies um, is rising steadily. Clinical trials citing CYTOP technology um, by start date, uh, as represented by the graph on the right, or on, excuse me, on my other right, on the left-hand side. Um, in 2021, we had over 150 trials to date. Clinical trials citing CYTOP technology by research area, as you can see, um, immuno-oncology, autoimmunity, and oncology are the top the top uh, applications for the technology. When looking at panel size, one can see that people leverage the bandwidth of the CYTOF system. So most of our panels are 30 markers plus with 15% uh, of them in the 40 to 49 marker range. Here we actually have a picture of new CYTOF XD. It took a while to get here, but here we are. We've reimagined mass cytometry. Um, the CYTOP XT fits nicely into the sweet spot, uh, so to speak, between that of discovery and translational efforts. It has a fully automated tuning um, and system startup, fully automated sample acquisition with a chilled multi-sample carousel. This system also has the ability to run 24 hours uh, with on-the-fly data processing. The CYTOP XT delivers increased sample throughput and operational flexibility. Automated sample, automated sample introduction. Um, we have a chilled sample carousel and we have walk away batch sample acquisition. Our carousel is cooled to four to eight, four to eight degrees Celsius, holds up to 12 five ml tube or one single 15 ml tube. The walk away acquisition is really unique to CYTOF in our latest version. And that is it's allowed to, it's able to acquire up to 13 samples. Um, and 13 individual panels in a single batch run. Automated resuspension of sample pellets and the addition of normalization beads is also a key feature of the XT system. And this affords one operator or a core director uh, flexibility. You can acquire different samples in different panels in the same batch run. There are no additional staining controls, no assay specific settings, are needed even if you have 13 individual panels in your carousel for acquisition. So again, one simple QC tuning, you optimize and validate your system, and then you can run 13 different parameters or 13 different panels um, with up to 50, per, 50 parameters if you'd like. Another feature of CYTOF XT um, in regards to automated acquisition is automated clog sensing and removal. Anyone that's used our CYTOF systems may have been plagued or troubled with sometimes, you know, samples get clogged. Well, that is now dealt with automatically with the new version. And what we have is we have automated clog sensing and removal. Uh, we have software and hardware that now are, you know, on board that help to, uh, you know, deal with pressure changes in the fluidics. Uh, they monitor clog formation. Uh, PSI levels elevate an unclogging routine is automatically activated. So here we have a little representation of an acquisition of three samples. And so here we have a little wash step before our start of sample one. We then start to acquire our sample and we can monitor our pressure, which is on the Y scale here. Um, and over time, we see that we have a pressure spike, which indicates the presence of a clog. Um, and as you can see from the pressure readout, we have a reverse flow or a negative pressure as the clog is removed. Um, this can be handled multiple times to remove the clog. If the clog cannot be removed, the whole sample gets retained and the system will move on to sample number two. Again, it'll wash between samples automatically and start to acquire the next sample. The CYTOF XT automates acquisition um, so that it frees up more time during your day. So in the morning, during a typical eight hour workday, you gotta turn on your system. What's in purple highlights the actual hands-on time as we have seen it and experienced it in the field. Um, so after you get your plasma going, you do your tuning, you then load your carousel and start your sample acquisition. And this can run up to eight hours, depending on how many samples you wish to run. At the end of the day, you could then load another carousel and have that run overnight 
giving you up to 24 hours of acquisition with minimal hands-on time. The Cytop XT is a portable high-parameter cytometry. You may be uh, you know, happy to learn that we now have lower pricing for our instrument, about 35% compared to um, our Helios. Installation costs are improved because there is much lower um, need for exhaust or venting of the system. Operational costs have also declined about 30%. The need for an operator is reduced by about 50%. Sample throughput is increased due to its automated features. So depending on how you wanna run the system, you may see a two to three fold increase um, in productivity or sample acquisition. Um, and with that, you get premium data quality and value with our new XT system. The total cost of ownership of the XT is on par with that of other high-end fluorescent cytometers. And with that, I'd like to again thank uh, you know, MetroFlow for the opportunity to present here. Um, and I'm happy to take any questions uh, that you might have. Great, thank you.